Hello and welcome to the first Warriors HQ of the year. Coming up, we speak to Matt Fagerson following last week's victory over Edinburgh. Greg Peterson looks forward to Saturday's trip to Italy, where Glasgow will face Zebrae, and all 47 tries Glasgow scored in the Pro 14 in 2017. So Matt, wasn't the result we wanted last week, but bounced back tonight. What was that feeling like? Uh, that was awesome, yeah. It was pretty, a pretty tight game throughout, I think, for the full 70. And then uh, the last 10 minutes, I think we just sort of went away with it. Um, so yeah, no, that was, it was awesome. Everybody dug in really well. Yeah. And of course, uh, it was quite a physical game, quite tough at times, especially within the forwards. Uh, what's it like playing with kind of near neighbours and, and boys you've kind of played with a lot before? Um, yeah, it's uh, I think yeah, it's a pretty tight knit, tight knit group. And um, I think you could tell last week I think we got sort of got a bit too involved in the the Edinburgh Glasgow sort of tie and the cliche on that. Um, so um, it was good to sort of get away from that and play our own game today. Um, and yeah, sh it paid dividends. Yeah. And quite a bizarre moment in the game was uh, just before half time when the fire alarm went off. Is is that a first for you? That's a first for me. Yeah. How uh, how kind of tough is that mentally just to kind of keep warm over the break and not really know when you're going to be back out? Um, I think the fire we were a bit confused at the start, um, but I think they got it under control and uh, there'd be no point in us coming back out for the last two minutes at half time. So they dealt with that really well. Uh, so yeah, it was good. Yeah. Last game of 2017 as well. You're going into a new year, top of the Pro 14. What's that feeling like? That feels awesome. Yeah. Um, we've had a really good uh, season this year in the Pro 14 already and um, yeah, hopefully this is the beginning again of uh, another run of games, so I'm um, looking forward to it. Yeah, and of course 2017 was such a big year for you, uh, going forward is there any New Year's resolutions, anything you want to work on? Uh, there was always plenty to work on, um, but, uh, but yeah, just sort of just get involved as much as I can um, and yeah, I think the, the, the guys are really shining in the new year, it'll be good. 2017 saw the introduction of the Guinness Pro 14 as South African teams Southern Kings and Toyota Cheetahs join the league. Warriors TV takes a look back at all 47 tries Glasgow scored in the Pro 14 last year. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. He's drunk and alone Two, don't let him in You have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him You ain't getting over him I got no rules, I count him Pushing forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards No way to turn, no way Now I'm standing back from it, I finally see the pattern I never loved, I never loved He doesn't love me, so I tell myself I tell myself, I do, I do, I do One, don't pick up the phone You know he's only calling cause he's drunk and alone Two, don't let him Kick him out again, free. Don't be a friend. You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning. And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. I got no rules, I count him.
Greg, you're back involved. How does it feel? You're back from injury. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, a bit frustrating at the start of the season, but you know, we got a lot of really good locks playing really good footy. So, um, you know, that bit sucked. But you know, with all the boys playing well and did the way they did at the start of the season, I'm just happy to be involved and be able to get out there and contribute to the season. Was it frustrating picking up that injury while away on international duty and then coming back and not being able to play for a few weeks? Yeah, the weird thing was because obviously in the Germany game, I heard it. Um, and then was able to, I, I got cleared to play against Georgia, which we, you know, narrowly lost against. Um, so that was frustrating. But then to come back here and, you know, to get to, almost get told that, oh, you might need surgery or something like that, to be seen as something so bad, but then, you know, be back in two, three weeks, it's still a bit frustrating, a bit, you know, uncomprehensible as to I can play there, but I can't play here. But, you know, it is what it is. The physio team's keeping me safe and healthy, healthy so I can't complain. Keenan McDonald's come in in your absence. How impressed have you been with him? Mate, he's been good. He's um, he, getting up at the front of the lineout has been exceptionally quick. He's hard to defend against. Um, then his work around the park's been great. Um, you know, he's got some physicality about him, and just just his work rate around the field, he gets so much done. So I'll have to get a, above that or on on par at least. Looking ahead to this weekend on Saturday, a big Pro 14 game against Zebri. It's really tough out there. We it was a pretty close game the last time we were out there. So what are you expecting this weekend? An, an absolute just arm wrestle. Um, you know, Zebra always, both Italian teams are hard to play at home because I think teams sometimes drop down to their level. But I think the difference between this year and past years, well, the Italian teams are playing very good rugby. Um, you know, Treviso are taking scalps at their own home and taking them away too, getting close to the challenge in the Challenge Cup, taking some wins and stuff too. And Zebra are right up there with them too. So it's almost like this season, there's no easy teams, easy wins or easy outs or anything. So we've really got to go down there. Um, and put the sword to them and get the five points. Is it important to go into the game off the back of a win against Edinburgh after the disappointment at BT Murrayfield the week before? Yeah, of course. You know, it, it, it was very hard watching that game because it was, it was just kind of all over the shop and that wasn't really Glasgow rugby. So maybe it was, you know, a bit of fallout from the European and stuff like that from the Montpellier games. Um, but, you know, to get the win last week and to hold Edinburgh to zero points, um, I think that really boosted the boys. Um, then to have another full week's training under that, kind of um, working on the same things we worked on for that Edinburgh game, just nutting down the basics and getting our game plan and worrying about us, um, I think that's going to help a lot this weekend. Was it nice to get some time off over Christmas after that Edinburgh game? Yeah, it was, it, it was real good. Just to be able to spend a bit more time with the family and stuff like that, um, with the new misses, but also to be able to spend a lot more time with the other um, the single boys and you know a lot of a lot of the boys came together a lot of the foreigners came together and you know cooked up some food and stuff so we had we had, I think we had plenty of Islander food going around which was good but I think I was hurting that week for it because it made me a little bit heavier but hopefully that helps this weekend. And just looking ahead after Zebra, we're back into Europe. Obviously, those games uh, against Leinster and then Exeter, and then there's a, a little break before we're back into the Guinness Pro 14. How Obviously, a lot of the players go away on international duty with the Six Nations starting. How important is this period of the season? You know, it's always important. It's it's the, the last season we kind of struggled during this period and really put us in a tough position to come back from. So even though we've done well in the first half of the season, we still need to go like finish off strong because um, we know teams that generally win the comp win it with a home win it by getting a home semi. So we're really aiming for that to push forward. Um, and these games are crucial because other teams will be missing their big dogs. So if we can come in and keep that consistency that we've had throughout the whole Pro 14 so far, um, you know, we should be able to just take it to them and get as many points as we can. But some tough games in that period, isn't there? Away to Munster and Ulster and with the Cheetahs coming here to Scotland as well. Yeah, you know, they're all going to be tough games. The, the, uh, you know, the, the South African teams are a bit of the wild cards because they won't be missing people and they're, they're getting, as the season goes, they're getting more and more used to playing in this comp. Um, so they will get harder as the season go, gets on longer. Um, but yeah, you know, Munster and stuff away, that's always a, a tough battle. But, you know, we've got a good group of players here and a good group that will hang around, that won't be a part of Scotland, that will be able to, you know, solidify and bind together and move forward. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to join us next Thursday at 5 for another Warriors HQ.